I have tried to make this video a million times. I don't know if it's for myself or for this deep need of needing to explain myself or what, but I feel it's important, but I don't know because I don't know. I'm my head is confused, I guess. I just made a video about what's been going on medically. Um, I didn't talk about everything, but I talked about the big stuff, at least for now. Um, I'm going to attempt to not heavily edit this video because when I heavily edit stuff, then um, my thought process changes for some reason. I'm a perfectionist and um, I've noticed that when I edit myself, um, I edit the stuff that I don't like about myself out. like. My, I try to hide my brain fog as much as possible and so I edit out the moments of time between talking when that is a normal thing. Um, granted my pauses might be longer than normal, I don't really know, but you know pausing between sentences is normal. Um, but I'm a perfectionist like I said and so sometimes I I'm okay with it being not perfect, but then other times I'm like, everything has to be perfect. And if I don't say it exactly how I want it to say it, then I can't use a video and stuff. And so, on top of like having issues with posting videos health reasons wise, I have like my head being an asshole to myself constantly. There's all these things that I want to talk about. But I don't know how to go about talking about them because <sighs> some of them I feel like might be off limits, but I'm like, it's my story. I should be able to talk about them or talk about it. Um, but when it involves other people that are like either family members or friends or something, um, it gets complicated. And I wanted this channel to be like an open diary kind of. Um, I don't know. I wanted it to be an expression of what is going on in my life and a place for me to talk about it because I don't really have anybody to talk about it with. Um, and even if I did have some people to talk about it with, they don't want to hear about it constantly. I get that. So I need a place for it to for it to be, you know, for it to live. Because it's not going to just be bottled up inside myself. Because that's not positive. And I feel like you're watching this and you're confused. Or something. Um, I was in a really, really good place when I started my channel and that level that I was at I'm not there anymore I'm not doing horrible I'm still doing pretty well considering everything but when you were as let's try to explain it I guess when you were as low as I was growing up self esteem wise um, you know Kind of give a recap. I was so... I hated myself. So much. Um, and my self-esteem was not existent to the point where I didn't think I had the... The right to talk to people. I kind of viewed everybody as like these... Like a god for some reason. Um, and that they were just gracing me with their presence. And if they had... And if they talked to me, then, then, you know, I needed to kiss their ass because I'm this 
worse than a piece of shit and um you know they're doing something really decent if they're just gonna can even um acknowledge that I'm alive um I remember having a Facebook as a kid and just scrolling and not liking anything because um they were just being decent enough to let me be on their Facebook, you know. Liking their stuff would be too much for some reason, which doesn't make any sense because, you know, that's what people want you to do. They want you to like your stuff. It's really weird. I, I've been trying, I've wanted to try to explain this and I don't know how to explain it, but when you're that, when your self-esteem is that low, it's almost like your self-esteem is super, super high because... I can guarantee you people do not hate you as much as you think you, they, they do because that's a lot of energy and to put into some party to put into somebody so it's kind of contradictory that I thought people hated me so much but were, was also like such a, a measly thing in their their life you know it doesn't make sense but that's where I was at I can go into further detail, but I'm terrified of talking about stuff because I'm constantly afraid that I'm going to offend people, which is weird because, and here's the part that I don't know how to talk about because I don't want to piss people off. Um, I can talk about things that I know we're going to piss people off and be fine with it, like religion, for instance. I'm a little hesitant to do it on my channel. On my Instagram, though, I'm really not. I even have an Instagram dedicated for atheist memes that I know we're going to piss people off. The goal isn't to piss people off. It's just that I'm fine with it. Pissing people off. Because, you know, you have your right to post your stuff. I have my right to post my stuff. But when it comes to talking about... I keep ta playing with this. I'm sorry about the noise. Um, when it comes to talking about other things... I'm so anxious... Of pissing people off for some reason and I don't understand why it's such a big deal to me I think I have like secondhand I hate to say the word trauma but there's no really other word to use right now and my brain is not helping me figure something else out but for lack of a better word trauma from watching other people getting canceled online um, some of it for good cause but I have lived my life getting in trouble for things that I thought were fine and trying to say things in a way that I thought was fine but somehow came off rude and some of that stems from my autism but a lot of some of it also probably stems from people just being not good people that I've been around um so I'm like is my thoughts and opinions about things that are really not that big of a deal a big deal or am I missing something there that I can't see because of my head which that could be some internalized ableism right there I don't know hopefully I'm making sense I, I don't really know <sighs> um but yeah like I want to have a voice but I feel like I can't have a voice because of my self-esteem issues um, and stuff and so every time I try to sit down and make a video and um, it's not I'm not able to say it the way I want to say it because my head's not working with me very well due to either like word search issues brain fog or whatever it may be I get angry at myself um, because I, I need it to be perfect as perfect as possible um, because I don't think the internet is this place that would be very forgiving if I'm not able to explain something the way I wanted to explain it 
And even if I can explain it the way I want to explain it, I don't feel like people completely understand me all the time. I get misunderstood even when I thought I explained something well. And I know that that's not me just not understanding something. I think that that is just other people not understanding me. <sighs> I'm in this weird area because I'm like, I'm finally starting to really accept that I'm autistic. I went from like this kind of like anger to excitement to like great you're autistic and you kind of have this answer now but like what does that mean exactly because I don't know I don't know it feels like I'm in this world and I'm constantly don't have information other people do I guess is how I would try to explain it I like that I'm autistic at least I like the way my brain works I don't like that I'm I'm constantly misunderstood by people I don't like that I can't look at people in the face and that people choose to view that as me hiding something or lying or whatever y'all then our typical people would assume that means but I like the way my brain works but I also feel like I can't show others how my brain works because of my physical disabilities. And even if I didn't have those, I still think I would struggle with them. Um, and like for instance, I tried to make a video about ABDO and I didn't do a very good job. I need to remake of that video because I got a lot of good positive um, feedback from it. But I got a lot of people that were just pissed off about it because they chose not to watch it. Those people, I can't help. But there are people that made arguments that don't make sense. And I need to make a video kind of saying, hey, no, blah, 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 blah. But I, I don't know how to be blunt and not feel like I'm being a bitch. I don't know how to do that. I'm either very, very, very passive and I have to kiss your ass and I have to be the most perfect person in the world and, and try to please you or I'm not doing any of that and I'm just, you know what, fuck you attitude. It's not that I'm saying fuck you attitude, it's just that I feel that that's what that is because maybe there is some of that in there but I think a lot of it is that I have to guard myself really, really heavily to be able to fully say what I want to say. And so every time I try to make a video, I have made at least 10, probably 10 different videos that I wanted to post online since I posted my last Alexa post thing. Um, and I can't use any of them because I was either brought up stuff that I just don't want on the internet or I tried to start, I started to try to explain something and my ADD kicked in and so I started explaining this and then this connects to something else and so I started talking about this but also missed that this needed to come over here and explain this first for it to all make sense, if that makes sense. Um, and so you could watch the video and you're like, okay, that makes sense, but you need to explain this part. And then I start talking about this part and forget to explain this part. And then you're confused or people will start trying to assume what I meant. And most of the time they're wrong. And then it causes this big issue. And I'm just like, I have tried to make, um, what are they called? I don't know what it's called. I keep forgetting to take this off. It's a trash bag that I keep on my chair so that when I'm dyeing my hair and I'm waiting that the hair dye doesn't get on the chair. Okay. It doesn't look like it's bad now. Okay. So what was I saying? So, like, I have so many things that go through my head. Like, another thing is every time I try to turn the camera on, for some reason my cats start to make noise. Which, I'm worried now that I just jinxed myself because they're both sleeping. But they'll start making noise and then I'll get distracted or there's other noises in the house from other people that live here. And they distract me. Um, 
there's a host of things there's just a host of things and i'm like i want to make videos why can't i just make videos why can't i just sit down and talk about what i want to talk about and not have to worry about how everybody in the universe can choose or accidentally misunderstand what i'm trying to say but that's the internet for you you know people love to get angry and the last thing i want to do is people get mad at me i think i could probably handle it well if it happened but I don't want to have to handle it. I want to just, you know, be who I am and be comfortable with that in the moment and after. I think I can do the after really well. I can't do it in the moment. I'm just so terrified of accidentally pissing people off. Especially with talking about autism. There's a lot of things that I want to talk about with autism and um or the chronic illness community and i don't know how to do it and be okay with some people being angry because i'm sure some people would be it's not really anything that's negative it's just i don't know just some stuff that i feel about the community that are just, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Because then I can't even think about what it really is right now at the moment too, which doesn't help. <sighs> I'm also in therapy at the moment, finally found a therapist, um, and she made some comments that I'm not totally sure I believe. And agree with like she kind of give the she kind of said something along the lines that you need to make sure that you're better before you can talk about things and I don't think that that is true I think that there is benefit from talking from a place of, of working on yourself first of all working on yourself never stops but I think there's a I think people can learn from any moment that you're in as long as you're working on yourself. So you don't have to be at the finish line to start doing good with good with whatever you're going through. Um, and she also said something on the lines of the things that um, I really want to talk about. You know, growing up undiagnosed um, and the trauma that I had to deal with because of that. All, all of it basically involves family and I want to talk about that but I don't want to miss make my family mad you know it whether what happened was intentional or not it's part of my story and I feel like I have a right to talk about it but I don't know how to talk about it and still be respectful about that stuff and I've mentioned a lot of it but um school wise and I still need to make a part two that I started, I think, in 2019 or something. I made a part one and I never made a part two of how I was treated in high school. <sighs> because I don't know how to talk about stuff that involved, that involves people. And tell my truth, you know, what actually happened. And not just piss a bunch of people off. And maybe I shouldn't worry about pissing people off, but... You know, you kind of have to when, the, when those people are still in your life. And then I want to talk about, like, my experience in a mental health hospital. But I cannot talk about that without talking about other stuff that people probably don't want me to talk about. So... I'm trying to figure all that out. I'm trying to figure out how to work on my perfectionism. I'm trying to work on gauging whether something is going to make people mad and if it's worth putting that out there. And also, uh, there's one other thing that I forgot. It's a real revolving around that. Um. 
there's just a lot of things I need to work about, work on, like mentally, but then I also have like the physical hurdles of trying to make a video and then halfway through starting to fall asleep and then having to stop and then by the time I get back to it I don't even know what I was trying to say. Um, and then you know the, the issue of editing and so I can not edit my stuff as much but most people don't make it past three minutes of my videos anyway so I feel like I have to edit the pauses and stuff. Um, which just continues to add to parts of me that I don't like about myself, I guess. Um, you know, editing yourself, you would think would be easy, but when you start watching yourself and you have to listen to yourself and watch yourself and figure out what should not be in the video and what should, um, at least in my experience, it really kind of fucks with your perception of yourself. And so, I don't want to stop YouTube. I just need to figure out how to work through that stuff in a positive way. Um, and figure out, okay, what actually needs to be taken out and what is me just being too hard on myself. Um, and like, I used to even like, why am I ticking now? I used to completely edit out my ticks after a while because I got a bunch of messages on my private Facebook and my Instagrams, because uh, I have several, um, about people saying that I was faking my Tourette's and it got annoying and aggravating. Um, I film in a very controlled environment. I'm not going to take that much on my videos. I took very much, so when I'm not on my, when I'm not making videos, because you can't control your environment. And so I can control my environment in my room for the most part and limit my triggers. Um, and so I started just cutting out my ticks because I felt like, well, if I keep my ticks in, then I'm trying to prove that I have, that I actually have Tourette's. And if I cut them out, then I'm trying to avoid stuff, you know? Like, for instance, like that, that's a perfect example, like, what needs to be cut out and what doesn't. I don't think I need to cut my ticks out, but I also don't want to have to deal with a bunch of assholes. Um, and when you talk about your tricks, it's a trigger for some reason. You look at other people on YouTube, they also start to tick more, um, when they talk about the tricks. First, what's his name? can't think of his name. The guy with a bunch of tattoos on his face. Um, for instance, he's a perfect example of that. I can't watch people with Tourette's anymore because I pick up their tics and I don't want to end up getting coprolia. So I don't watch people with Tourette's, unfortunately, which makes it very, very lonely. Um, but, you know, <laughs> you're a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, yeah, basically I guess that's it. There's probably some more stuff that I wanted to talk about, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm just dealing with a lot of stuff. I'm dealing with personal stuff that makes making videos hard, and I'm dealing with health stuff, and I'm dealing with wanting to talk about certain things, but not knowing how to talk about it, or even if I should talk about it, and still feeling like I have the right to talk about it. But, you know, I might have the right to talk about it, but... It might still just be too complicated to talk about it, for instance, I guess. I gotta figure all that out, you know? I don't want this channel to be something that is just me get airing out dirty laundry. Um, I don't think that's what it would be. Because it's my story and I have a right to tell it, like I said, but... Again, it's really hard to talk about stuff when it involves so many other people. I'm fine talking about the teachers and stuff because those people were professionals and while I was not diagnosed, they still chose to treat me in a manner that was evil for lack of a better word. Even if I wasn't diagnosed, 
they still sh shouldn't have done the stuff that they did to me. Um, but, like, I would love to talk about mental health stuff. But I don't know how to talk about that. Um, I would love to talk about what it felt like growing up with un undiagnosed autism and the trauma that that caused me. But a lot of the trauma was from people that didn't understand what was going on. And so how do you talk about that, you know, without pissing them off or making them feel bad when that's not my intention? It's just like, you know, you were doing the best you were doing, but this hurt me. And I want to talk about it so that other people can um, not feel alone if they went through it, but also um, stress how important it is for everybody, women, um, and men to get diagnosed with autism as early as possible. You know, um, Scottish Rite wanted to test me when I was a child, but it never got done. And so I went, uh, I think 20 years without knowing what was wrong with me. And see, I say what's wrong with me, but, um, there's really no other way to word it. It literally felt like everybody else had information that I did not have. Like, I was trying, like, y'all got, like, the neurotypicals got the manual for the world, and I didn't get it. Like, it did, just didn't get in, come in my box. And I love being autistic. Um, but I would, it would have been way more, um, it would have been so much better if I had had the intervention that was needed when I was growing up because um, I had to learn to mask everything and now I'm dealing with the issue of like how do I learn who I am and be who I am and figure that out without other people accusing me of now all of a sudden acting different. I don't want to mask for the rest of my life. Um, you know, it's exhausting. I think there's probably a time and place for it. But when I'm home, I don't want to have to do that. But I don't know how to learn who I am and deal with other people being uncomfortable with learning who I am. Because my family does not know who I am. They know this version of somebody that is um, copy and pasted from a bunch of different people. So... You know, life's complicated as fuck, but, um, I guess I'm gonna post this and not really edit it, cause if I edit it, then I'm going to start looking at all the things I hate, but, yeah. I might have to make another video like this because I feel like I need to explain myself a lot, um, and I think that that's just something that I'm gonna have to accept about myself because I'm uncomfortable and I can't do anything until I do that. Um, I think it's a coping mechanism for me, and until I find something else, I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow myself to do it, because keeping myself from doing it is not benefiting me, I don't think, um, but, yeah, I guess thanks for listening to me vent and stuff, bye.